coverage does continue now with Richard Essex. He's at St. Luke United Methodist Church where the service ended just over an hour ago. Richard. Well, we heard a lot of extraordinary things about Senator Luger today. And one of the common themes we heard today, he was a man of extraordinary intelligence, a man who put others before himself. He was a man of service. And to say that he will be missed is an understatement. Time seemed to stand still as the Hearst carrying Senator Richard Luger arrived at the church. His wife, four sons, grandchildren, and relatives filed slowly inside the church with the honor guard right behind them. In the center of the room sat the casket of Dick Luger. After all, this is a man who embodied Mr. Midwestern values and Hoosier humility. Gracious, generous, and polite. The consummate professional and gentlemen. There have been volumes written about Senator Luger's accomplishments, but his crowning legislative accomplishment was relatively early in his Senate career with Sam Nunn, the Nunn Luger Act. As a very young man, Dick achieved the rank of Eagle Scout, as Mitch mentioned. He lived the Scout law trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Dick Luger was also smart as a whip. He was strategic and he was bold with a very high IQ. The church was filled with people, most all of them touched in some way by Luger. Former governor of Indiana, Mitch Daniels, served as Luger's chief of staff in D.C. in the early days. Knowing Dick Luger, I learned about the principles of a free society. I learned about how to make government work effectively. I learned about bringing people together giving them a direction and an enthusiasm for heading off together in pursuit of a better future for all. But much more important, I learned about what a really good life looks like. I'll never approach the standards he set. I still do things that are venal or unkind or small-minded. But I do them a lot less often because I knew Dick Luger. The Nun Luger Act. And we saw a lot of men today, men that have led this country, have led this state, shed a tear talking about the man that they have known for 50 some years. Richard Luger was 87 years old.